So, there's been a lot of concern lately in the uh, tech industry, you know, us computer gamers, that DDR5 RAM is really expensive right now. And it is because of AI data centers. Now, if you didn't know, right now AI data centers are buying up a bunch of computing equipment and they're building these massive multi-billion dollar data centers for what? See, if you've played with AI, like I have, it's actually pretty impressive. It can do a decent amount of stuff for about 60 seconds. And then it starts to fall apart. Why is this? Well, you see, these models are loaded into RAM or VRAM. They cannot run directly off of the hard drive. They have to be loaded directly into the RAM or the VRAM. They technically could run off of an SSD, but it will make them considerably slower. Well, why is that an issue? Well, you see, when you have something running in RAM or VRAM, it's very volatile memory. Now there is ECC RAM, which is error correcting code memory. It is a little bit better, but it's not the end all be all. You see, when your computer has that little hitch or hiccup and uh, you know, the whole thing freezes up and you have to restart it, that's called a runtime error. Those runtime errors are usually happening because something in your RAM got corrupted and your computer doesn't know what to do with it. Well, AI is very susceptible to that as well. And by very susceptible, I mean incredibly susceptible because the entire program is essentially running in your RAM. So what does this mean? Well, I believe that these AI companies have uh, over-invested in themselves a bit too much. We're going to see a bunch of fallout because what we're seeing right now is they're essentially buying their own stock in order to bump up the value of their companies because they are spending way too much money on infrastructure that can essentially never pay itself off. You ever hear of the dot-com bubble? Yeah, this is the AI bubble. Sad thing is, is it's going to cause a uh, stock market crash. I mean, as long as you're not looking to retire in the next two years, won't be too big of an issue. But that's going to be coming. Just my prediction. I might be wrong, but I'm not usually wrong about this stuff. Anyways, guys, love y'all. Y'all beautiful. Hope you had a great day. Maybe, just maybe, they'll be able to find a way to get them to run off of SSDs. But even then, SSDs are essentially just DRAM anyway. So, still the same issue. Okay, bye! Plus, we don't have to worry about Skynet anytime soon. Also, a little side note, have you ever tried to use your SSD to extend your RAM? You can do it on Windows. Try it. It's terrible. can do it on most tablets and uh, phones, too. Except for iPhone.